All right, now we go to that morning fire that destroyed a dilapidated house near Little Caesars Arena. Seven Action News crews captured the smoldering remains of the home. The owner was one of the last holdouts who has not sold their property to the Illich Family Foundation. The property has been in a battle over blights for years. The house at one point was listed for $5 million, but in recent years it was lowered to $2.5 million. Seven Action News reporter Darren Cunningham joining us live with the investigation. Darren. Yes, that home, interestingly enough, was built in the late 1800s. But this right here, you'll see this is what's left of it. I am t at 2712 Cass Avenue. The city placed a demolition notice on the uh, top step this morning. The family that owns this property say they plan to rebuild. To see this right here is uh, extremely hurtful. You know, my family's hurt. After years of battling with the city of Detroit over dozens of blight notices and a refusal to sell this property to the developers of Little Caesars Arena for their asking price, the family that owns the home at 2712 Cass Avenue woke up to learn of this. It was destroyed by fire. Family have clothes in their photos, you know, uh, all sentimental value stuff. You know, and now uh, it's just all gone. The land was in demand as the area came to life within the past decade. The family once listed it for nearly $5 million, but it did not sell. Dejan McCain says his grandmother owns the property and she was just recently in the process of remodeling the home. The basement, the bathrooms, the electricity, the heating, the water, everything that we had to spend, you know, a numerous hours on to get up, the pool permits. The fire also damaged the fence separating the home from the adjacent parking lot and sent debris over into that lot. A company contracted by Olympia Development, which owns the surface lot, picked up the pieces this afternoon. During that time, firefighters made their way back to the rubble to put out hotspots. Arson investigators were also on scene, as one of the main questions is how did the property catch fire? The family has a theory, but they say they're focused on what's next. Our goals are to clean up and rebuild, you know, keep it in the family. I reached out to the fire department. I have not heard back yet. The police department says it is early in, the, in their investigation and that they will get back to me at a later time. I also reached out to Illich family owned Olympia Development. They had no comment and they referred me back to the police and fire departments. Live in Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. All right, Darren, thank you for the update there.